Hello my fellow witches, sorcerers, and other magical practitioners. My name is Aiden, and today I'm going to teach you all how I read tarot. So this is just how I read it. Um, you can read it however you want, and whatever way you see fits you best. So this is just how I feel it worked best for me. And I think that this can help out a lot of different people and see how they kind of work with tarot. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So I'll be reading with the Rider Waite uh, tarot deck. And this is what it looked like. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. So first of all, what I'll do is I'll take it, hold my hand or have the client put their hand on the deck and I'll ask my question. So how is my, how's the rest of this quarter looking for me for the next five weeks? And then I'll begin to shuffle. But while I'm shuffling, I make a prayer. Um, I actually, for this deck specifically, I work with the demon Ammon uh, for that. So I'll make a prayer out to him. Demon Ammon, I call upon your name. I call you into this space and channel through me and into these cards. Whisper into my ear that which you need to tell me and show me these pathways that rise ahead for these next six weeks, five weeks. Show me what the rest of this quarter is going to look like and show me up ahead the bumps, the curves, the twists, the turns, and everything that I need to know. Show me, O oh demon Alon, any misgivings that I may have, any great joys that I may see, and any and all things that I must know before these next five weeks are up. I ask you, demon Alon, to come over and into me. To read me so I may read these cards perfectly and truly. Whisper into my ear all that I need to know. Amen. And so with that being done, I'll spread the deck out. And I don't want to get this candle on me. I'll spread it out. I want to make sure that I can see every card. Now I'll hover my hand over it. I'll just let myself loosen up. Let my hand hover until it finds the right card. I steal the energy out and go with the flow, essentially. And I'm going to do a three card spread. I tend to do three card spreads because three is easy to read with without getting overwhelming. And I tend to do the, I try to do these every morning, but I don't always have the time for that. I just don't have the energy for that. You know, but sometimes you just gotta know where and you're out of energy. All right, here are my three cards. Oh, my bell, shoot. Sorry about that. Sometimes I read the card that appears on the bottom of the deck. I don't always do that, it just depends on the reading. The world. The moon, ooh. All major arcana? All major arcana, the hermit. Hmm. 
So then what I'll do is I'll meditate on the cards. I'll look into the symbolism of the cards first and do a reading based off of what I see. So the world to me that indicates greatness, that indicates to me all these good things coming towards me and a union of things essentially, everything coming to completion, which makes sense because this is the last quarter I'll be a freshman of. The moon tends to represent gossip, tends to represent discourse, uh, it represents hardships ahead. Uh, the yodes of fire and fiery conversation between the towers of destruction. And there's a lunar eclipse going on uh, in the image. Uh, lunar eclipses are usually representative of death and destruction. The hermit uh, standing up upon the mountain and looking down upon all around you. Feelings of loneliness. Um, and solitude while looking back inside yourself and reflecting. It's a kind of solemn spread I see today. Um, these next five weeks are not looking super positive, unfortunately, which is to be expected, but not great that's reinforced. Um, and then after that, I'll get out the blue little booklet and I'll read out what this all says according to the book. And I combine those, those together and I get essentially what is my answer. Assured success, route, voyage, emigration, flight, or change of place. So again, good card success, the ending of things, essentially, everything coming together and completing. Hidden enemies, danger, calamity, harmony, darkness, terror, deception, error. So again, the gossip, the hidden enemies behind your back, um, all that fun stuff. Prudence, also especially treason, discrimination, corruption, roguery. So kind of, again, not a great sign. Deception and roguery are the ones that are sticking out to me right now. So it seems to me that someone is talking behind my back or something, which is to be expected. These are all things that I already know. Tarot is usually not always about predicting the future, but more taking what you know and understand and bring that to the forefront of your mind. So it's, it's interesting and it always tells a story and can read out the story in various ways and means. So yeah, that's a quick rundown on how I read tarot. Sorry, it got a little depressing there, but that's all right. I'll be fine. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you all learned a little something and you might want to try and pick this up in your own practice. It's very simple, nothing too crazy or extreme. Uh, tarot reading is super easy. Uh, it just takes intuition, it takes skill, and it's a practice. You practice at it and you build up um, your prowess and eventually you'll be able to do it pretty easily. So again, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.